Hey, Tyler, uh, we, we saw you go into the injury tent and Eric went over there to check on you. I guess just how much pain were you in and what happened exactly? You know, I just got hit in the knee, you know. Um, but I'm fine. Um, doctors did a great job of um, making sure I was okay. Um, I mean, it'll be sore tomorrow, but I'll be fine, you know, so, um, yeah. Was it weird playing with the brace at all or was it uncomfortable or were you, were you fine with it? No, I was fine with it. Um, it actually felt better in the second half. Um, so, Tyler, we'll go next to Tim Reynolds from the Associated Press. Tim, go ahead. Tyler, for those of us that have never played in an absolute monsoon, uh, what's it like? I mean, you, you need your footing to be able to throw the football, and I'm sure you've played in elements before. I get that. But how difficult was it out there tonight just from just trying to get your feet set standpoint? Yeah, I mean, I, I don't think the feet uh, – well, it was a problem for me. Um, I think it was the, the ball kept getting wet and wet, and my hands kept getting wet. So um, at times, it was kind of hard to grip the ball. Um, you know, the guys did a great job getting a new ball in there um, sometimes. So, um, But, yeah, I played in rain, snow, so I'm, I'm kind of used to that. So it didn't really phase me. Tyler, how important – I mean, all wins are important. Home, home finale, sending your seniors off, bowl eligibility, all those reasons. I get it. But – what you guys have gone through in the last seven days, how important was it to, they're all important, but was, did, does this one have extra significance? I guess is what I'm trying to ask. Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, coming off that heartbreaking loss against FSU, um, um, you know, we still fought, fought uh, everybody came together, uh, fought for the seniors, and um, it was just a great way to send them out. Um, I mean, especially Mike Harley, the last touchdown to put it away. Uh, he'll never forget that moment ever, so. I'm happy for him. I'm happy for every single senior. Thank you. Tyler, we'll go next to Gary Furman from Kane Sport. Gary, go ahead. Uh, hey, Tyler. Uh, this has been quite a couple-month run that you've put together here. And uh, obviously, when you have this many performances stacked on top of each other, there's nothing fluky about it. Uh, talk about what this is like for you to have emerged like this and uh tonight you know some of the shots that you hit down the field I mean 75 to Burchard 55 to Harley 39 to Charleston I mean these aren't simple throws and uh you're making them happen can you just talk about what this has been like from your perspective yeah and I think uh each week I'm I'm learning from the game before you know just watching a lot of film um learning from mistakes and I mean, I got to give credit to the O-line. I think it was, what, zero sacks tonight, you know? Uh, they protected me well. Um, I mean, the receivers, too, made, made great catches downfield, you know? Um, I mean, I, I can't do it without any of those guys, you know? And um, I mean, the whole team has really um, helped me uh, come into this role and, and giving me the confidence that I have right now. Tyler, we'll go next to David Wilson from the Miami Herald. David, go ahead. Hey, Tyler. Uh, kind of following up on the, the big play stuff. I mean, you haven't been scared to like let it fly basically since you've taken over here, but just, uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know what it was, how many 50 plus yard touchdowns, 30 yard plus yard touchdown side it was, but just what, what it's obviously come along as this season is going on. What, what do you feel like has kind of led to that success of this offense, the big? Um, you know, I think it's just our ability to win downfield, you know? Um, I mean, Rambo, he's just, he does a great job of um, getting open down there. I feel like I can, just throw it out there, he'll make the play, you know? So, um, you know, yeah, um, we've caught a lot more shots, you know, and uh, we've been hitting a lot of them. It's either uh, catch or pass interference. So, um, yeah, we're really happy with that, you know? Tyler, we'll go next to Daryl Streeter. Daryl, go ahead. Uh, Tyler, how you doing? Um, great game. Um, talk to us about the play to Brashad. Uh, could you break that down for us? And is that something you guys practice all year or something you just put in? <laughs> yeah, we've been – I think we've been practicing since uh, I think the North Carolina game, and we haven't ran it yet. Um, you know, so it, it's an empty set. Or no, Brashad's next to me. Um, we had the running back come in motion, uh, kind of fake it. Um, Rambo had like a crack and go. Uh, and that's the first read, and then uh, Brashad had like a wheel out of the backfield. Um, and I just saw him, saw him uh, out on those guys, so I decided to throw it up there, give him a chance, and. He made a great play. Tyler, we got time for one more. We're going to go to Susan Miller Degnan from the Herald. Susan, go ahead. Hey, Tyler, congratulations. What difference a bowl game could make for this team having that extra game? 
Yeah, you know, it means a lot. Um, I feel like it, I mean, it builds for the future, you know, um, just getting that extra game, you know, uh, possibly getting eight wins. Um, I mean, right now we have one goal on mind and that's preparing for Duke. Um, I mean, we're just going to go out there, have a great week of practice and um, just focus one game at a time. Hey, Mike, congrats on the win. Can you kind of talk about how special was that touchdown pass in the early fourth quarter that he bombed that TBD through to you? Uh, that, that that pass right there sealed the deal. Um, my last touchdown in the Hard Rock as a uh, Kane, uh, that, meant, that meant a lot. It meant a lot. Mike, we go next to David Wilson from the Miami Herald. David, go ahead. Hey, Mike, I know the season hasn't obviously always gone the way you guys wanted, but you're getting close to the all-time receptions record here, which I know is something we, I think we had talked about in the preseason. Just what does that mean as that record's getting close? What would it mean to be able to kind of, like, leave your legacy with, with a number like that? Uh, that would be huge uh, for me, uh, for my family. And, um, I mean, when I break it, I mean, I'm going to be happy. But that, is, that just shows, you know, all the ups and downs and all the perseverance and how I just kept going. And um, I don't know, shoot, I got to break it first. So I really can't speak on it for real. Mike, we're going to go to Manny Navarro from The Athletic. Manny, go ahead. Hey, Mike, congrats on the win. Uh, two questions for you. First one, just describe the emotions with all you seniors running out there and, you know, sliding in the, uh, in the mud, so to speak, and getting carried off, just what that was like. And then the second part, obviously, you guys are bowl eligible now. You guys all talked about coming back together and making this a great season. People are going to start wondering, hey, who's going to opt out of the bowl game? Have you thought about that yet for yourself? And, and what are guys sort of talking about as far as the bowl game? Uh, nah, man, I love these universities. You know, I'm going to play every game. I'm going to play every game. Um, no, I didn't hear no guys um, saying opting out of the bowl game. But um, that win that just happened. Uh, you know, meant a lot to us, to the seniors, to go out with a bang. Um, and we just did slip and slide. I mean, it was wet out there, so. Mike, we'll go next to Daryl Streeter from Footballville. Daryl, go ahead. Hey, Mike, I just want to say great game. I'm proud of you, bro. Um, listen, uh, your your career at UM was, has been like a roller coaster. Um, it ended great. What would you tell to high school kids thinking about coming into college? Um, just trust the process and, um, have a sharp mentality, you know, never stop when things going wrong. Just always keep going because, you know, when the shark stops, it dies. And, you know, if it go backwards, it dies. You just keep swimming. So I tell the guy, you know, trust the process. When things not going right, you know, um, don't think transfer portal. You know, don't think quitting. Just keep pushing, keep going. Appreciate that. Yep. Mike, last question for you is from Brian London. Brian, go ahead. Hey, Mike, just could you talk about um... – you know, we've obviously seen Tyler really come into his own and, and have some really complete games. Could you just talk about the growth you've seen in him and and how much you think he's leaned on uh, Derek to, you know, kind of get some of that leadership and motivational stuff that he provides you guys in the huddle? Tyler always um, been a leader ever since, um you know, Derek King was doing rehab in the spring. Uh, I've seen it in him. And, um you know, him playing behind Derek King for like a year and a half, uh, it really wore off on him. And, um, you know, Tyler's that type of guy to accept any challenge. You know, and, um, he rally, rallies the group up, and we just make things happen. Yeah, well, I know there was a lot of pride in uh, just sending out the seniors with, with a W tonight. Um, can you just talk about what that was like, you know, the scene of lifting them off on your shoulders? Who, who did you help carry off? Yeah, I mean, obviously, coming in this week, that was what we wanted to do. It was huge for us, you know. Just with all the, the way the season's gone, the way the guys have battled, you know, the seniors deserve to go out on that note. Um, and I was looking for the two tight ends in my group that I was trying to lift up, but they already got lifted up. But, I mean, it's a, it's a great feeling to see those guys um, get carried off the field, especially with that W. Um, they, they all deserve it. Well, we'll go next to David Wilson from Miami Herald. David, go ahead. Hey, Will, uh, you've been on the receiving end of a lot of the really long touchdowns this year, and I know yours today didn't count. Um, but just obviously it's become a really big part of this team offense's identity with, with Tyler. Just what, what, is making it, what is making you guys so explosive right now? Yeah, I mean, I, I just think it's the, that chemistry we've built. I mean, that, that's a, all 11 guys on the field doing their job with that being up front, uh, with that being Tyler making those heck of throws, and then with guys making contested catches. Um, it's a whole whole offensive effort 
Um, and we've really, really gotten that down and made huge plays this year, which has helped us, uh, you know, you know, get in the head of the game. Um, so I think guys have done a great job in practice. That's the coaches too. The coaches have really been, you know, drilling that. Um, I've done a great job. And so all around, it's a, it's a great job by everyone to, to focus up and be able to make those plays when we need it. I also want to ask, how bummed were you that yours got called back? Yeah, I was bummed. I was probably too tired to even like be bummed. But <laughs> hey, as long as we got the W, I'm, I'm, I'm okay. Awesome. Last hand up I've got for you, Will, is from Daryl Streeter from Footballville. Daryl, go ahead. Uh, Will, how you doing? Great game. Uh, what they call a reverse free flipper in the huddle? Do you just start smiling? And um, talk to us about how that play ended and um, the, the nifty running, man. Just uh, break that play down for us. Yeah, I mean, it's it's a play that's worked for us in the past. Um, and, um, you know, you never really know how it's going to go. Um, but it worked out well. Um, you know, made a play on my feet. Um, but unfortunately, it didn't count. <laughs> but uh, it's all good. It's all good because um, guys ended up making plays after that. And like I said before, that's all that matters. So, so Zach, what was the highlight of your third senior night? <laughs> Uh, the highlight of my third senior night, uh, really just watching the other guys go out there and make plays. I don't. Have, I feel like that sounds like a corny answer, but um, I feel like, you know, we all put so much energy into each other, watching each other succeed and, you know, hype each other up on the sideline, especially between the D-line. So going out there and, you know, seeing those guys make plays is, um, it always brings me the most joy. Zach, we're going to go to David Wilson. David, go ahead. I'll make you talk about yourself, I guess, a little bit, uh, to – Get the strip sack on senior night and get to wear that turnover chain, I guess, one more time at, at Hard Rock. Just what did that mean? I mean, it meant a lot. I thought about um, – I tried not to – actually, I tried not to think about too much, like, what I would do in this game and um, just try to go out there and take it play by play like a normal uh, normal game and, you know, not let all the hype around it get into my head. Um, and so, you know, the strip sack came when it did. I, I felt like I was on him a lot um, that quarterback in the – like, towards the end of the third quarter. It was getting frustrating that I wasn't getting a result. Um, but, you know, I kept on kept on rushing and, you know, uh, things came together and worked out. Zach, we'll go next to Tom D'Angelo from the Palm Beach Post. Tom, go ahead. Hey, Zach, congratulations. Zach, I know this game, you guys uh, came out and everybody was playing for the seniors, but also was a part of you having listened to all the noise this past week. Did you feel like you had to play this for Coach Diaz also? Can you uh, repeat the end of that question again? I didn't hear the end of that question. With with all the noise of the last week, did you guys feel like you had to play this with Coach Diaz also, uh, along with the seniors? I mean, you know, it's, we all treat it like a normal game. It, it's a lot of the – we try not to let the emotions and everything get to us to the end of it. You know, we get into the locker room and it's a big celebration. You know, some guys, um, you know, in their feelings or whatever about it. But, again, it's just – we had to treat everything like a normal game. We didn't want to go out there and, you know, you let your emotions get too high, you start to make mistakes. So we just treated it like it was the same thing. Zach, we'll go to Daryl Streeter from Footballville. Daryl, go ahead. Uh, Zach, how you doing? I appreciate you. Um, and great game tonight. When you first got here, your coach was Mark Rick. Talk to us about Mark Rick and the impact that he had on your career. Uh, Mark Rick, in a lot of ways, uh, you know, I can compare his mentality to Coach Diaz and the fact that they're both – I see them as unshakable characters. You know, anything can come at them or come at the team and they remain poised and, you know, just like they're supposed to be at the head of the team. Um, but, uh, you know, his his teachings and things like that, he, I feel like uh, he was really important to my development as a young man. And, um, you know, Diaz carried that through and really the rest of the coaching staff and, you know, just the experiences uh, that I encountered well uh, here at Miami, just, you know, I'll, I'll be forever grateful for those. But Rick was a big, a big part of that. Zach, we got two more for you. We're going to go to Brian London. Brian, go ahead. Zach, congratulations on the victory. You guys really um, kept bringing it to the Virginia Tech quarterback tonight. Was that was that part of the plan? I mean, he's definitely going to probably need some ice and some Advil uh, tomorrow. I mean, that's always part of the plan. If you can get up to the quarterback, you can get up to the whole offense. Everybody feels it when the quarterback gets hit. Not to say we're out here trying to hurt anybody, but, you know, it's a man's game. We're out here trying to play a man's game. Um, and so – you know, uh, you know. We, again, we don't want to see anybody get hurt or injured, like seriously, and anything like that. It's not like, you know, I don't want to give off that impression. Um, but as much time as you can be around the quarterback, you can definitely affect the game more, and that's what we're looking. We're trying to affect the game when we're playing defense. Zach, last question for you is going to come from Susan Miller Degnan. Susan, go ahead. 
Hey, Zach, congratulations. Um, I've been asking people about going to a bowl game, what that means to you. You're a veteran now. How important is it, especially for maybe the younger guys? I'm a freshman defensive end. <laughs> but, um, no, it's always important, you know, for the program to go to a bowl game. And, um, you know, it's, it's, it's more about for this team, the story is always, at least this year, has been about persevering and, and fighting through, you know, the adversity. And I feel like it's the same thing. You know, you, you hear that every team's going to say, you know, you got to fight through adversity. But this year has been a little bit different in the way that we went about it. Um, and so, you know, the result has been a bowl game. He wasn't thinking like, OK, we got to win this game so we can get to a bowl game. It was more just, you know, we've been, you know, fighting a lot of downs and, you know, let's turn it to a positive. We all send the senior, seniors out on a, on a high note. Hey, DeAndre, kind of along the same uh, lines of what I just asked Mike, what was it like to get carried off there on senior night with a win sliding on the field? And the second part of it, we're all going to start wondering, you know, who might opt out of the bowl game? Are you going to play in the bowl game? Uh, just to start off with the night, it was just a great night, just – the way this team fought back um, after a tough season, uh, the way uh, the young guys just battled, sitting the older guys out right. And um, as far as the intentions on after the season, I haven't got that far. I'm just thinking about Duke next week. Um, I'm going to enjoy this win for 24 hours and on to Duke. DeAndre, we go next to Cal Friedman from WVUM. Cal, go ahead. Hey, DeAndre, you had a huge sack in that second half. You were able to pull your way through the right guard. Got called for holding on the play, but still made the sack. Talk us through that play. Uh, yeah, you know, it was kind of a slow night for me. I feel like a lot of the action was going away. You know, they kind of uh, came out with some things we weren't prepared for. But um, on the sack, man, I just knew my team needed to play. Um, I just got a good jump off the ball, kind of read the play, uh, dip under the, uh, the guard, like you said, and uh, just made a play for my team. DeAndre, we'll go next to David Wilson from the Miami Herald. David, go ahead. Hey, DeAndre. Uh, defensively, obviously, they gave you guys a little bit of trouble in the third quarter, but then flipped back in the fourth, and you guys kind of shut them down. Just first of all, what did they do in the third quarter to make things so tough for you? And then what did you guys change in the fourth to, to shut it down in the end? Um, yeah, just a lot of quarterback runs to the boundary, uh, kind of their uh, staple of their offense for the night. But once we got that figured out, you know, we had to uh, stay disciplined in our gaps in the C area and uh, keep edges on our defense. And once we did that, once we made those corrections, uh, we were good for the rest of the night. DeAndre, last hand up is from Susan Miller Degnan of the Miami Herald. Susan, go ahead. DeAndre, uh, what you talked about the younger guys. What do the younger guys mean to this team? And I also want to know about a bowl game. How beneficial is that for you guys? Um, yes, you, you can see the talent, the development of the young guys uh, throughout the whole year. Those guys have been making plays, you know, keeping us in ball games and just keeping this team fresh. Um, what is that practice? Taking extra reps or, you know, in the film room, you can see the, them guys just lighting up, just getting better. And uh, the bowl game, you know, is, is, is developmental. You get a, a month of December to go out there and practice, you know, kind of take it back to camp. And uh, it's just great for the program, great for the young guys, great for development and uh, just great for the team.